you can't there we go so we're good now but you can't switch you can't switch cameras on youtube that's crazy switch cameras. all right well we are live let's see the people figure out that we screwed up or i screwed up <laughs> <laughs> Three people have. Well, I'm one of them. So. No, so, so. That's awesome. Oh, there's, there's Marty. Marty. We got Dwight. Dwight's coming in. Hey. I'm actually getting the chat faster here than you're oh. getting it there. That's crazy. Yeah. So, Dan's Grand Valley. Hey, Dan. Road. Freaky crow. <laughs> Freaky crow. What's up, Roy? That's awesome. Freaky crow. Yeah. <laughs> An amalgamation. Let's see who else is showing up. Or a flying train. Flying train, yeah. That I like that better. flying train. That's pretty cool. That's better than Freaky Crow. Yep. We got Gator. Of course, my wife, Amanda. We got Skookio River Valley. John. Hey, John. So it shows there's only four. Gator. Here. What's up, man? Long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm the first person who hit the thumbs up. How about that? This is Train Freak. Yeah, saying to Amanda. <laughs> yeah. Roy says, yeah, I like freaking train. Sure, you do, boy. What do you say the next one? Beard. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. That is awesome. So, Roy, when are you going to head over to, to East Texas? <laughs> I think Roy was trying to cross the Mississippi River today on I-40. I don't think he made it very far. Yeah. They got that bridge shut down. 12 hours. And see, see, without me helping you, you know, see, I was helping yesterday. It was only, what, an eight or nine hour day? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, see, that's what happened. I'm not out there helping you. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, I'm watching the chat. Chat comes in faster on my phone for some reason. Uh, well, probably because I've got my, my 2.4. Yeah, it could be. Illinois. Dwight. How's it going? Pappy's here. MSI 100. Hey, Pappy. MSI Hunter 5. I think that's the first time he's been on my channel. Uh, See here. He's going to cross the Mississippi at St. Louis. I don't blame you. Uh, it's probably going to be several weeks before they get that bridge fixed. So, Pappy's saying hi to both of us. Right there. There he is. So, that's awesome. Hey, we got Panama Roy in the house. How Panama Roy. What's up, Roy? How you doing? Who else? I think that's it because it's just I'm just showing yeah, nine I'm, right now. Yeah, I'm showing eleven. Okay. So that that should be about it. Oh, Wilmer. Wilmer. <laughs> now is Wilmer going to type "freak out" in long letters too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Crow. <laughs> Leave it to Roy yeah. Container Man to come up with some crazy names. Him and uh, Anthony Dodge. Yeah. <laughs> Jason! <laughs> Jason. <laughs> That's awesome, Uncle Wilmer. That's awesome.
Yeah. 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 Uncle Wilmer ain't going to have fingers left if he keeps that up. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, well, at least he didn't do it to Marty. <laughs> and that, I, okay, so now I got Heath messaging me. When is the show starting? Yeah. Uh, now. Yeah. Come on, Heath. Yeah, Gator, I'm on stilts, and, and you, if you were here, you'd really think we, we were on stilts next to next to Jason. Man, I'm, I, I can't <laughs> I can't help it. I'm short. You know. I'm just a short day. The Norman. Hey, hey, Norman. The bus from Vinny's made it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I guess everyone was riding coach. Yep. Still nothing on my end. What? Got finger cramps. <laughs> <laughs> the short bus. <laughs> short bus. Hey, Dave, how's it going? Dave's here from Crooked River Eastern. Ah, what's up, Dave? He says, I'm watching, waiting for you to go live. Oh, I bet you he is in the old one. Yeah, John 2618. How's it going? What's up, I can't. I think that's John number three, maybe. Yeah, John number three or four. Something like that. That's what we're gonna have to start doing is just numbering the Johns. <laughs> hey, you could all be crooked bearded. <laughs> oh man. He said there's four of them in there waiting. Oh, tell tell them there's a new one because of the camera. Because of YouTube. Yeah, got to leave it yeah. to good old YouTube. Yeah. Always got to crash the party. Yes, I will. I, I will, Gator. So, yeah, it does make it look a little bit bigger, the camera angle, doesn't it? But it is 34 feet long. I mean, it's not. Yeah. But it does. You're right. It does make it look a little bit longer because of the perspective. And I will tell you all this, like seeing this on camera and actually laying your eyes on it is it's totally different. It's like night and day. I mean, I walked in here. I was like, whoa. There's Heath. It's about time, Heath. See, Heath, it was your fault that you messed up yeah. Robert's original stream. That's right. That's why. So, hey, Randy, how's it going? So we're going to blame you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was Heath's fault. The other stream messed up. So. Yep. <laughs> we got Randy's rock and roll in here. What's up, Randy? Heath did it. Hey, even Amanda knows Heath did it. Yeah. <laughs> See, Heath knows. And Amanda knows. Well, well, Heath, that's because we were trying to ditch you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said what, 14 by 34? Yeah. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, we're trying to set up another meet and greet, but we're not going to tell Heath where it is. <laughs> <laughs> DES, how's it going? That's awesome. <clears throat> <laughs> we're <laughs> <simple> <laughs> <but anybody>. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, check the door. You left it unlocked. Yeah, I, I come to crash the party. Look yeah. at me. It, it's a freak takeover. Dwarf beard crew. <laughs> oh, man. I could probably get on my tippy toes and get a little higher. Yeah. There we go. Uh, that's close. That's close. Not quite. I've got, I've got a box, soap box you can stand on. Hey, Joe Raider finally made it to the right stream. Joe. Hey, Joe, how's it going?
Yeah, I had a I had a prop. There's one thing it, about YouTube when you're just broadcasting directly through YouTube is if you set up the live stream with a camera, you can't use another camera. It won't let you switch over for some reason. And I had, uh, yeah, milk crate. There you go. I had set it up with a laptop camera, just not thinking. And uh, when I plugged in my um, my webcam, it just it just didn't want to play nice. So milk crate, Robert. <laughs> I'm sure I'd yeah, be that'll able work. To, yeah, that would possibly be had one. I have my. Uh, I have my lift out section there. You can stand on top of it. As long as you got, as long as you don't have track on. No, there's nothing. Wrong. You got, it's like glue or something. Yeah, I, w I had actually put some foam on top of it, and then oh, I uh, ripped, ripped it, it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Amanda. You don't want to do that. She'll just, um, she'll just have to try to figure out how to tow that camper back well, to the sound. Yeah, I could keep I could keep him busy for a month or so. Yeah, easily. <laughs> well, Roy, I don't want I don't want people to see me. So that's why I'm I'm over here. But you see me enough, so Little Freak is inside. He did not want to be part of the party. He's a he's being a party pooper. So it's too bad Drew couldn't join us because Drew uh, has his Batman. You ever watch Drew Steele's videos? Because oh, yeah. he has Batman in almost every one of us. <laughs> what do you mean I'm converting case to KCS? What? I don't know. I, I think he meant to say you're converting to CP. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh man, that's like a stinger. He, tell you what, you're gonna be blocked for my live streams from now. <laughs> <laughs> Batman was on drugs in the last video. Oh lord, I don't think I watched his latest one yet. Thought I was CP. Only one on drugs is Heath, obviously. <laughs> Especially if you start saying that I run UP on my layout. Oh yeah. No offense to those who like Union Pacific. We have. Where did I put them? Oh, oh there they are. So, I got a, I got a present. Jason, I've got cows now for my pasture, and I didn't even know this, but it comes with cow poop. <laughs> There's four in there. Yeah. There's four patties. So I've got cow patties on my little. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Wilmer. Put him in timeout. <laughs> if you do that, he might crash the stream. So we might, yeah. we might gotta be careful there. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to run some trains. Um, I'll probably do a little switching. I, uh, I'm i actually replacing some turnouts, so I don't have, can't get all the way around yet. So. Oh, just plug it in. No, on the, the extension cord. Power. I'm gonna. I'm pushing that heavy train back. Hold on, we're gonna we're down at this. Is it this part here? Oh, you know what? This is, 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 this is
So, Wilmer, you have been proud. I ran 40, 40 cars last night with my with one locomotive. Yeah, Jason is really small now, isn't he? <laughs> He's look, look, Jason's only let's see. Oh look, Jason's only that tall now. <laughs> only if they know how it feels to be small. Let me let me uh move everything down i'm going to move my move my camera and laptop down just a little bit so don't get too dizzy while i'm moving because it's on a tripod i've got to navigate there we go that's better you got uh what do you use for uncoupling Right now, <laughs> Fair the 050 switcher. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I will, Wilmer. I think I'm going to do a video on that. But yeah, I pulled 40 cars with that. That's a Cotto SD40. So it, it pulled 40 cars last night. It struggled in the curve. Yeah, it did. It kind of struggled in the curve, but it made it. The backing up was a different. I have a little derailment there. Yeah. Was it the Atlas, the tank car, or the hopper? Uh, the tank car and this uh, hopper boat. Yeah. That's why that switch is getting replaced. Oh, how'd you lose it, Gator? Several. Can see. Let's back it up there. Well, I think we got another deer. Uh, oh, he fixed it. I think this causing issues already. Yep, the cheat's fault. <laughs> I could fly drones in here. That's what I mean. well, if I would have known that, I'd have brought mine. Yeah. Oh, I see. Going from LTE to Wi-Fi. Okay. There we go. Now, I don't know. I can, you know what I can do? It's a barn. <laughs> Come on, Steve. How are you doing, Steve? I didn't say hi to you. Um, I can actually generate a manifest in JMRI. So I'm open up JMRI. And I am going to build. There, I built him a manifest.
It's a shark, bigger than a shed, smaller than a barn, a sharn. <laughs> So I'm I'm gonna see I'm gonna see how good of a switchman he is. As long as I don't have a lot of day rails. Yeah. So this Bennett box car needs to needs to move to track one. Right, which one's track one? Which this one? So, I can go anywhere. so one, two, three, four, caboose. and then caboose. Yeah. This is going to be fun to reach. All right. I can go any direction I want to to get over there. Yep. Your limit speeds? Yeah, uh, five miles an hour. Jesus, that's even forever. <laughs> that's five. Right there. Okay, ten. We'll, we'll increase our yard limit speed to ten right now. <laughs> your yard is what is this like? Almost twenty feet long. Yeah, Just a little yard. bit longer. Probably about. Um. So this. Ten 20, feet. 24? Yeah, about twenty-four feet long. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Roy said he can't see the other end of it. Alright. Make sure I got all my switches on. And I've got a full yard so that Yeah, I switch in the yard's gonna have gonna have some work to do. Yeah, that's no joke. Yeah, hey Gator, that's a good idea. There is a train show in Jefferson, Texas this weekend. If anybody's down this way, yeah, I'll be there. Um, and that's yeah, that's re the real reason Jason came down. <laughs> oh, this is going to be even fun because now I got to I got to move these out of the way. Yep. Right. Any specific storage truck for those? I could move them on those, or you could, uh, or shove them back on the back ladder. Yeah, you could, or, or just while you're, to get them out of the way, uh, you can um, move them, move them on this track, just to get them out of the way for a okay. minute. And I'll run the switches down here at this end. So what's crazy is i got to control everything from way down here, because I have a wire. <laughs> yeah, he does. He said you need roller skates to get around. <laughs> roller blades. <laughs> So he's switching with the bicentennial unit. How about that? Yeah, my uh, my power booster uh, actually shorted out, and so I had to send it back to NCE for repairs. So they're uh, they're fixing it. So we're kind of on the wired throttle right now. All right, I can't get to the rest I'll, of the I'll ladder. Get, I'll get the rest of them. So. We're good here. Yeah, just move them on this arrival departure track while you're switching them. And then we can move them back. I was just going to store them on the ladder temporarily. Yeah, we could do that. However you want to do it. Which ladder? Uh, the one over there beside your two switchers. Here? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that if you want. Absolutely. So, <laughs> yeah, Norman, it was. It was a. It was that five amp power booster. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I was running a train one night. It wasn't on a switch or anything. It was just on the main line. All of a sudden, everything just started shorting out, and I unplugged it from the uh, unplugged it from the track, and it was still shorting. So, uh, so I sent it back to NCE. They'll fix it. And send it back to me. I can't tell. Nope, you're good. Oh, yeah, you're good. You want to come back here, though, don't you? Yeah. All right, pull up a little bit. Pull forward. No, you're you're good. You're not being real. I just 
sale. Yeah. No, oh, you know what? That's because of the switch. I'll, I'll watch it. Just keep keep coming back. All right, we're good. Yep. Boy, there's no containers on this railroad. Not in 1976. Well, I guess there were a few starting to come along in the 70s, but uh, it was. I do have some trailer on flat car stuff. Yeah, I've got a piggyback ramp actually down at the uh, the other end that you're not the camera's not pointed to right now. Yeah, keep coming. Should be clear that switch You are, but you're going to have more work to do. So, all right, you're good. Shelf couplers. Gotta love. Here. All right. So I don't know if you can see see what he's doing there. Um, actually, there's two cars on that same track. <clears throat> um, uh, which one's the last? Uh, one? This one okay. and this one. So the person in the boat. Yeah. And they're going to they're going to track one. <clears throat> That switch around. All right. You got the other one too. Yep. It's right. Come on back. <clears throat> Fifty-six. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I just didn't see a lot of them growing up. The only thing I really remember is the trailer on flat cars, stuff. I think all the containers were on flats. They didn't have the rails. Yeah. No, I know they didn't have those. <laughs> Plus, I don't like container trains. They're boring. All right, one car. 20 feet. 10. 5. All right. Good. All right. If you will uncouple after the blue one, it's done. Is it already done? Yep. This looks so cool from like a distance. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's the yard master. <laughs> Actually, I like doing the yard work a lot more than I do like running the manifest or. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got a derail. <laughs> One's on the ground. Well, that one was going on the side. All right. You're good. I know another switch that needs to be replaced. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. All right. And we got two on the ground. Well, this car here literally almost yeah. toppled over. It's the front of Milwaukee. No, it's on. It's on. Oh, it is? It have, was both trucks. You must that. have dragged it back on when you got the Frisco one on. Maybe. All right, I think we're good now because we're yeah. past the switch. This is this switch is the problem. Yeah, we should have done that. Got the crane car out. 
step of your booms on or your tenders on backwards. Yeah. Oh, you go forward. Oh, did you not switch it? So did I? <laughs> uh, so I had the wrong signal. Hold on. There we go. Yes, your uh, tender on your cranes backwards. Is it? What do you mean? The uh, upright is for the boom, so the boom don't swing off. <gasps> oh, I see. Okay. See, I didn't know anything. Yeah, so the whole length is 34 feet. The yard's about 24 feet out of that. Maybe, you know, maybe 25 feet. So how are you doing this? So I'm going to drop off the blue. Just the blue one. Okay. And I'm going to pull up back in the, uh, the Frisco and the one between the Frisco and the blue. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have my first car still attached. Oh, I I'll see. Yep, okay. And then pull the others back up in storage. Yeah, actually, Jason helped me set up. Um, that's got a Tsunami 2 decoder in it. The So Jason helped me set up last night the dynamic digital exhaust. So it's a, it's a pretty good feature of those. Yeah, we still need to do the brake. Yeah. Did I couple? Not quite. It's not pushing. Yeah. It's just... Alright, now I need the blue unhooked. The rest of the train. Alright, then you're gonna push these back, yeah. Right. Alright, clear. <laughs> I'll try not to, John. He said, don't let you near my TCS logo. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, he'll do something to jack him up. Who's that? John Arthur. Oh. <laughs> I've been trying to get him on soundtracks for the longest John, I like TCS too, so. I think they all got their parts in some fashion. They, they, they really do. I did find out that Soundtrax does not have a sound ignored for a doom bug or a gas in top level. Oh, really? So, if a TCS wild sound has one, I'll definitely. You're good. I was going to back up to the rest of the cars. Okay, 10. Oops. 5. You good? And we'll just leave nope. that front box door in that one, too. There you go. Hey Shay, how's it going? Shay's in scale has joined us. When's he gonna get us a in scale locomotive? <laughs> a Shay locomotive. An in scale Shay, there you go. I think uh I wanna say Shannon from back on track has one. Hmm. I, I don't know brown. if I've seen an in scale shade. I think it's brown. Yeah, it's probably. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. So the voice that helps you through the through the sound decoder, that's your new girlfriend, Norman? Okay.
Is that from off the track? I was just uncoupling it from the oh, okay. train car. Going back. <clears throat> okay, four cars. Three. Two. One. Thirty feet. Twenty. Ten. Five. Cut. Solid. Yep. I think it'll make it through this time without derailing. Oops. What happened? No, they were. I don't know what happened. All right, what's the next one I need? Um, okay, so those go on track one. I to have enough. Uh, next one is the Boston and Maine 105 from track nine. Oh, I don't know why it keeps doing that. So, this oh, a coupler height. That's one. Oh, is it? And this one's a little low, and that one's high, so it's like it's like hanging on like that. Oh, this is the next one. Woo, okay. So you'll have to call dispatch for tracking time when you push it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's right, Wilmer. <laughs> so we said it's on this track here. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Keeps disconnecting. Mm. We might have some issues with that. Yeah, it's like I'm watching it, it's just barely popping up. Right, sure. See? Yeah. That's got to be towed to maintenance. <laughs> yeah, that needs to go to the car shops. Yeah. Ooh, that turned out. Yeah, look at that. There it goes. Oh, there. That's okay. Now Push I'm it back. Get back into it. Let's see what happens if I turn it around. Maybe the coupler on the other side's a little lower. Okay. And we're going to kind of simulate this, not on the raw. <laughs> that might do better. Okay. Yeah, Roy, I'm mad at containers because they've taken the place of all the boxcars. <laughs> that and the piggyback trailers. Yeah, man, that's right. I still see a, a train every once in a while. Yeah, with piggybacks on it. No, yeah. uh, or, 50 foot boxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one that runs through here. There's actually a beer train that runs really? from, from Mexico up, up through here. That, and the boxcars are old. They're like 30-year-old boxcars. Is it the cars. BKT Wild ones? Yeah. yeah. It runs. That's probably the same one I catch up through uh, Yeah. Through where I'm at. I mean, so we're, you know, we live on the same line. Yeah, that's true. All right. 30 feet. 20, 10, 5, cut. Is that one still hot? Yeah, but not as bad as it was. Okay. 
Yes. Not these, Martin. These are these are beat up. A lot of them look like they're ex uh, rail box and that kind of stuff. Yeah, old school rail boxes. I've seen um, one that was like a Valdosta yeah. Southern mm -hmm. St. Lawrence, which looks just like the Pickens cars. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I've, I've seen, seen those. some of those. Yeah. But they're all marked with the BKTY. Yeah. So this B and M right here is the one we're taking. Yep. Is there any others that we got to pull? Uh, for mine, let's see. Yeah, there's several others. So I should have told you that before. Yeah. So both the Boston mains. Both of them. Yeah. I got one up here on the front. Um. Uh. The two MKTs, 920 and 2318. So, darn it, you left that one, that last one. All right, we'll come back and get it. Yeah. It uncoupled again. Yeah. I don't know why. Just, just take that one out because we're going to keep fooling with it. Yeah. Put it on the rip track. Well, all the it's engines are on the rip out. track. All the engines are on the rip track. So just put it over there. Yeah. Put it right here. Yep. I'll put it with that later. So I've got two KVs over here that you got to get. And then uh, and the American Colloid and the rail box. Okay, so now the MKTs are on two separate tracks, right? Nope. It's this one and this part. Let's see, which number is it? Uh, 920 and 2318. So this one and this one. Okay. All right. Well, I'm probably going to go ahead and just back into that the full, full train. There's actually this ICG you've got to get to. Okay. So. Let me go ahead and back into the whole train. Yeah, and then pull it forward. Yeah. Switch mistake. <laughs> well, I should I should have briefed you better. And then we've got to get uh, one from 10 and one from 11. We're going to have enough room on track one. Well, they're not all going on one. Oh, okay. We're going to have enough room on the tracks. <laughs> we will. You're about full. Oh, good. Safety. <laughs> You got another bad turnout over here somewhere. Yeah, I know. They're all getting replaced. You said these are all microengineering? Yep. Yeah, every one of them. Is that part of the yard lighter system? No. They're just regular number six turnouts. Gotcha. So you're, yeah, you're yeah, I'm just going to come this. pick the whole thing up. You hear it going over the switch, that click? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, so it's just lucky if it doesn't derail. I'm wondering if any of it's your air hoses, maybe. Uh, I don't think so, because some of them I've even cut off. I bought these plier things from Micromart. Mm-hmm. Where I can just barely bend them up. So right here, being a culprit. And that one's, that's just an after. I mean, it shouldn't be derailing. It's brand new. It's either an after or an atlas. I can't, one of them's an after and one of them's an atlas. I've got two Milwaukee. Boy, everybody's being quiet now. Hey, Randall Ellison. How's it going? I think everybody's jealous. Everybody's jealous. They don't get to be the yard master. Two.
one car length, 20 feet, 10, 5. That thing creeps good. Yeah, it does. It won't speed step one. Step. All right. Uh, the locomotive left without the tray. <laughs> How did that happen? Ian, how's it going? Chris. Is that Leah? Yep. <laughs> Norman says everybody's mesmerized. Y'all should see it from my angle. Like seeing it from y'all's angle, like looking straight to the yard is like, is okay. But like when you're like way down here looking the full length of the yard, it's uh, it's different. So it's this one and this one we need. Okay. To... So the. Text... And, and the Boston main. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's going to be a lot of back and forth. But it'd be all right. I can use this piece of track here. Yep. For that. That's what I was planning on doing with that Boston and Maine. So both Boston and Maine's. Two Katie's and the American Colloid. This one? Yep. Okay. That's L-O-V-X, isn't it? Yeah, L-O-V-X. Yeah. The one I just bought. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis Do. Thanks for joining us. I've got that on speed step 10. Yeah. I'll keep going reverse and five to help kind of minimize the derails. I don't know if y'all can hear that dynamic digital exhaust, uh, but it's, you know, the it's like the engineers uh, throttling up and throttling back to, uh, you know, keep the power up. And you can really only tell that when there's it's pulling a cut of cars, you know, a long cut of cars. You might not hear it in reverse because I'm, well, it's it's going yeah. up and down. It is, yeah. So we don't have to come all the way back. Either. I'm gonna stop it about right here. I'm just wanting to get a good visual. Yeah, I'm giving Jason his exercise tonight. Yeah, that's no joke. Okay, John. Have a good evening. John, uh, School Kill River. Yeah. You've got another derail. Same car? Uh, this AMC. And it double derail. Both of them came off. Hmm. I don't know. What's going on? But I should be far enough. Uh, should be well far enough to clear. Yeah. Ooh, that was heavy. I put weights in it. <laughs> uh, I can tell. This is, I'm I'm slowly reweighing weighting all my cars too. I put. I've that got is these, something I need to do. I've got these tire weights. Uh, uh, I just put an ounce on each end, so I got two extra ounces and everything. Yeah, uh, Roy Smith did a good video the other day about overweight or underweight. I personally like overweight. Hey, Nancy, how's it going? Hi, Nancy. All right, so now we're just going to be dropping off the T&P. Yep. Which we don't have to shove it all the way back. We can nope. shove it as far as we need to. Got to keep 
my eye on that AMC over here. See, the WC one, Wisconsin Central, was walking a little bit. It's just crawl. Yep. I well, know, yeah, that's the problem with about half the switches. Oh, hold on. My TMP derailed me. I can tell. <clears throat> yeah. It rubbed up. Uh, TMP just did not derail. It pulled the whole train. I think I turned the switch. Yeah, well, I'm glad I'm finding all this out because I can replace them before I ballast them. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is I ballasted the other end. I haven't ballasted this one or the middle stuff, so the other end I'm going to have to dig out of the ballast and redo, but that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, and John, I, I actually buy these little... Because these are a lot cheaper than what they sell you for your trains. These little uh, tire weights. You can get them in quarter, half, and one ounce uh, weight. So they're 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 about. You can use uh, Yeah, they're weights. about ten percent of what the. Uh, who sell Who sells the weights? Uh, you can get them like in the fishing departments at Walmart. Too. Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, fishing line weights. Is it? Uh, is it Woodland Scenics that makes the weights, or is it Walther's? Somebody makes weights, but they're yeah, fishing sinkers are good, Ian. That's what uh, Jason was just saying. You can get your weights. Oh, you got your red. Hit the red button. Yeah. Did you hear the? Psh? Yeah. Yeah, and shoving back seems to be a bigger problem, too, than, than going yeah. forward. And it's not all the same car, either. Yeah. It's all different cars. We see it's like this one hopped the frog and went straight, pulled that one off, but this one's still on the diverging rails. Yeah. So. I like that. You like that? So that's if you hit your emergency button. Okay, so that's far enough because you, you need this one. Am I derailed again? Yes. Look at there. Look at here. This one didn't even derail to begin with. Yeah. And now the front truck derailed and the back one was fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's just it's it's just luck of the draw. All right. Clear. Clear. Yeah, Gator, that's right. Whatever pressures are over the points in the frogs, that's what. It's, it's fine going forwards. Yeah, it's really the shoving back is where they were really having the problem. So that Katie. Just this one. Yep. And then the Boston and Maine in the rail box. And the American colloid. So. Now, are you doing that? Yeah. Jason's going to set it up to where it does that automatically, though. Yeah, two forwards, three reverse, one for stopping. Uh, come on, dude. Got another day. Yeah, I got two in a row. They're just hopping the rail. 
Yeah, it's those frogs. It's. See, now that, that was fine. Okay. We're good here. So shove back the uh, Great Northern and the other Katie car. And as it gets shorter, I, I think we'll probably have less derailments too. So there'll be less power pushing. Yeah. Hey, Wilmer. God bless. We'll see you later. And Roy, take it easy. Now, I know Gator's committed because he's a... Uh... Yeah, Dennis, he is getting a good workout. I know Gator's committed because he, he worked a 12-hour shift doing this, and now he's watching us switching. <laughs> Maybe he just like... Gator, you probably want, like watching people work. Is that what it is? <laughs> Maybe. Watching. This okay, SP so we're we're good is, now. The SP car is the one that hopped off yeah. last time. But we're we're good. You can pull forward now. Drop the Great Northern off. I was just going to go ahead and back. Oh, you're going to shove it all back. Okay. Yeah, a lot of this stuff needs to get weathered, but that's Project 947. Oh, something. Soon as I walk over here, it yeah. derails. It's that UP car again. It's UP giving us problems. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Gator. That's what the best foreman do is, is watch. Watch other people do work. Hey, James, how's it going? James Dalton's in the house. Yeah. Yeah, this is project 947 out of 10,000 is to weather my cars. So I've, I've just got. We good? You you can pull up now and, and then get the rail box from the Boston Maine. That is the. Uh, which one is that? 105? Yep. Yeah, we need it. We right, need, so needed both Boston Main, Boston Main, Boston Main, American, American Colloid, Colloid, and the rail box, and the rail box. Okay. Right. And then the, uh, I think the last one is this ICG down. Gotcha. Yeah. So Gator, we've got. So if I'm turning, I'm turning the camera around so you can see it. But so these are these are all stub ended tracks. Um, so we got to kind of come at them from one way. The, these four stub ended tracks. Um, so that's that's the only way we can get to those four. So we would still have to go up where we're going. Plus. We're pulling we're pulling cars from almost the other end of the stub ended track, you know, from the back of it. So that'll that'll change as as it goes along because what's <clears throat> what's happened is uh, I've told the program to do on the stub ends do first in first out. So um, so as as I get moving cars around, it, it's going to be get to the point of where we're not going to have to do that so much anymore.
if if my engineers do first in first out when they're here doing operating sessions yeah. <laughs> all right randall you take it easy have a good evening yeah yeah james project 105-22 yeah, you're right, Ian says Heath is probably lurking and causing the problems. Oh, easily. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a given. <laughs> I mean, he's been causing problems all night. Well, James, you'll have track eventually. But um, most of you probably know this, but if I can make a recommendation... Do a lot of op sessions before you ballast your track. Yeah. Make sure all the track works perfect. And then and then ballast it. So run just just really run it. See if that UP's derailing again. No, it took it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but the Wisconsin Central might be. I'll just stop right there. Yeah, it's good because you can unhook the SP yeah. car. No, Wisconsin Central is Is it? I just heard a cathetic clink. Yeah, clink. Uh, I'm hearing it too. Yeah, but that's the frog. Like, and like I say, it, it makes it sometimes and it doesn't other times, so. Uh, oh, look what I do. That's hopefully that's off, that's off camera. <laughs> Turn the camera around because I just knocked two cars over. See, now with this shortcut, that's not notching up as high. Yeah. All right, so just the American Colloid on this cut? Yep. I think I'm going to send you a uh, 40 foot cable. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Oh, did something mess up? No, I'm just looking at the. Uh, looking at another. Uh, Couple cars that were on the next page that I didn't see. I apologize. Okay, we'll get them. Okay, and this this is one of them right here. Well, that's on the same one as the ICG, right? Yep. Yep. That that's good. But that's good because we can just back into those. Yeah. I didn't realize that it generated that much work for you. <laughs> yeah, that's true, John. It, it gives you a chance to make changes too to your track design. Well, that's good, James. Yeah, do the double main line first. You know, get the main line done. At least you can run some trains on it. Go ahead and put your turnouts into, like, your yard and stuff. Yeah. So that way they're already there. Right. So that way you don't have to destroy part of your main line to put your turnouts in. And there was... Jeez. 
Oh, you know what? Yep. Um, we do need this. We need that one too? Yep. Okay. I'll come pick it up right now. That Milwaukee one there was popping. Yeah. See, now the UP one's acting fine. Yeah, I know. That's weird. Hey, Roy, Roy Eltham is in the house. All right, all three Roys. Yeah, that Roy, Roy Container Man left, though. Yeah. He said he had to go to bed. Yeah, he's he's truck driving. Yeah. I can understand that. There we go. Should be about on it. Yep, yeah, we're good. I'll get your braking feature done here in a little while. I'll have to look at a couple of the phone. And so the first one, the ICG, and this. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry, this. The last one for the piggybacks? Yep. Okay. This will be fun. And make sure that's all from track 10. Yeah, it doesn't. I wish my switch list was in order, track order. And O oh, and the SP. I didn't see that one. 621103. I got 210836. Oh, this one. Okay. So when we get this one, we'll get that one too. Yeah, well, he does kind of lives kind of near me, Roy, <laughs> about four hours away. So he's down for a train show that uh, we're having here. So we're going to gonna do the train show tomorrow. Temporary home for the week is about 45 minutes away. Yeah. Right, so, let's see. Yeah, good. Yeah, but I got to keep pushing back. Oh, that's right, because you're going to get the Lake Superior and Ishpeming. And the, uh, in the ice. I still got more I got to cut off. There. That one should be the only one, right? I believe I so. Just yep. Yep. One. It's just, just those two up front. Both up front or just one up front? Yeah, both of them. Both of them? Yeah, because the Milwaukee's the, was the first one. It was, uh, that's 8960, right? That one up front? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm using this uh, caboose as a gauge. Oh, okay. Let's me know how far I can push. Yeah, four hours is kind of doable. Norman says, don't spend too much at the train show. Now he knows that's not going to happen. At, at least one thing I can say is once my wad of cash is depleted, yeah. I can't buy anything else. That's true. Martin Searsman says, Jason, hide a sound card speaker in your cattle pens. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad they didn't run cattle cars in seven the seventies. Nope, they were done. Sixty early sixties. 
Yeah, I think there was there was some up into the late sixties on the odd occasion. Yeah. But, Yeah, I think once you get some good turnouts on there. Yep. I think that would help. Because your track work is smooth. Yeah, the rest of the straights are fine. All right, so I guess you can come all the way back with this. Yeah. With these. Yeah, I can come all the way back and drop them all off at the front, too. You mind uh, passing me the. What about the yeah. I got a code. Again, you mind passing me that tea, please? Oh, you're probably getting thirsty. Wow, it's already 10 o'clock. Yeah, I know. Holy smokes. Yeah, I mean, you're working me like a. I know, I'm working him. A mule over here. <laughs> That's it, Shay. He's getting his fix. Since this is all torn up. Yeah, those, those Kato engines are great. Yeah. yeah. They, they are just smooth running. Hey, two car lengths. One. That's good. We'll cut them there. Ready. Seven forty-five. Sorry, Shay. I know it's West Coast. Early to you. Huh? <laughs> I don't know why it didn't come pre-programmed like that, though. Yeah. I mean, you would think that's a feature that most people would want. I think it has to do with sensitivity. Uh-huh. Everybody wants a different sensitivity. Levels. Yeah. Soundtracks decoders are amazing. You just have to get it programmed. Yeah, I've never used a soundtrack decoder. But that tsunami too is soundtracks. Oh yeah, soundtrack. You're right. I'm sorry. I was. Never mind. I'm getting old. Yeah. So Norman's watching trains on his pad and then watching the Dodgers on TV. There you go. So let's see. What we got? We got to get the ICG car and the uh, British Columbia car and the ST. All right, we're gonna. Work on the ICG first. Okay. So I should be able to couple into that cut and then that cut back there. Oh, and I think this Lake Superior and Ishpeming too. Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. All right. Should be making 
this. Oh, uh, you look good. I'm just being clutched today. So I'm going to put the ICG on the ladder. Okay. Because we've only got two cars on this spec, right? Right. 2703 is a. Hold on. Is that 2703 that LS? 2706. So where's my other lake superior? Is it in the? Is it in the Robert? Oh no, it's right there. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Um, that was going to be a, a pain. Um, we'll make it happen. That should be far up. I can grab it. Yeah. Let's push it back. Because there's no way to get to it. Uh, there's a way. You just have to because I've got the switch torn up down there, so yeah, yeah, just push it back into this. Here, just the one. Yeah. There we go. Since it's on the turn out, it's barely off. Want to ride it though? There we go. All right. So that's the one we need, sorry. Okay. Not this one. So the ICG is the only one. Yes. Perfect. Is it there? Yeah, I'm just going to drop it off by itself. Okay. No reason to connect it to that tanker. Ninety-seven degrees in Bakersfield today. That's hot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shay. Oh, Where? Oh. Southern decided when I take the diverging. It's that, getting that long cut of cars again. Oh, southern one's, southern's still off. So. Yeah, Norman, actually, it hasn't been real hot here. I think a couple of days it got up to 90 here in Texas, but most of, most of the time it's been 70s and 80s, so it's it's been nice here. All right, we're good. Sure, we have far enough past the switch. Yep. All right. Straight back.
knew they were going straight back. Huh? It's a good thing we're going straight yeah. back. switching it's just so relaxing <laughs> hey. this should be getting close yep you are one car length actually one now so. okay. all right Good night, John. John Arthur's headed to bed. Good night, John. It's so much easier switching like this too than doing it by yourself. Yeah. But I mean, if you had like wireless. Yeah, it wouldn't be as bad. Right. Well, it was. It was cuffy. Another one with those uh, couple of heights. No, it's just a plastic coupler. I haven't changed it out on that one yet. Uh, and I've had so many issues with plastic. No, oh, I do. I have to. Oh, and I think we're getting this too. Yeah, so we're getting this one and that one. Oh, and this one. Yeah, there's three of them. There's three things. Three cars. Right now we've got 10, 9 on the train and that 1 in the shops. Yep. So we should have, when all is said and done, we should have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We should end up with 14. 14. Okay. And that'll be half the switching job. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, be real. Well, that one totally came off the tracks. I wonder, do those have plastic couplers on that Katie car? The red one. Yeah. Yeah. This one does too. Yeah. I'm still in the process of changing those out. That's a, that's time. Yeah.
Let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, nine, six, nine, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're missing one. We're missing one. What is it? And oh, I see what it is. Did we miss one? Um, no. That's this one. That's the other one. Okay, so, so it's right there. So we're good. So the BC. This one. Okay. The last this SP, one, and, that and then that one. one. Yep. So, okay. All right. Make sure I'm not coupled not, into the piggybacks. Good. Okay. Perfect. I gotta make sure I'm coupled here. Yeah. I'm not coupled. I can't really tell. Yeah, I'm This view looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of does on camera, too. So. Jack Jack, what's going on? <laughs> he says, oh, my gosh, what are they doing? <laughs> what's up, Jack Jack? Oh. Derail. And this is the ICG and the MKT. Yeah, the ICG probably pulled it off. Yeah, it's got plastic. Yeah. Yeah, eventually I'll get to all of them. I'm in the process of it. And I think some of your couplers are stiff. The shanks are stiff in the boxes. <laughs> Amanda said you kind of took over. Don't I always? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're doing it. We're doing a, a switch job in the yard, Jack Jack. So. We'll probably only get half of it done tonight, though. And your green MKT, it's got a lot of lean. Maybe I need to put the floor on it because I took it off to put weight in it. I might have might need might have not pressed it back on right. This is actually the first time I've ever really been switching these tracks up really? here. So, you see, now we're just picking up the cars. Now they got to go to their yeah spots. respective spots. So, what will happen then when you assemble the trains for the locals? It'll Okay, it'll pull everything from these tracks. Gotcha. Because these will be these will be certain industries over here, and and actually the back track is is going to have building flats. Oh, cool. So there's going to be four industries along the back, and then the that's going to be the piggyback ramp down at this end. And, uh, I thought I saw your kit over yeah. in the yeah south. And then I've, I've got this little freight house that's going to be here. So. All right, so these two. two. Yep. And then that one. So, what I'll yep. do. so probably what I'll do is I'll pull back, cut, pull this one up. I'm probably going to drop that one off right there. Yep. And then drop back. See you, Gator. Yeah, I hope to see you up in Jefferson.
So, Jack, Jack, what's happening is the, um, I've got the manifest generated from JMRI. And um, so right now, once we pull all the cars, it, it tells me what, what track they go on. So once we get all the cars out, out on the, um, the ladder tracks, then, then they'll, I'll generate a manifest for an actual local, and then it'll tell me uh, how to block it. What's that? I was watching it. It's like, nope. I'm not doing it. What the world? Yeah. Sure. It pushed the track. It pushed oh. the switch. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, it pushed it. it pushed it open. That's weird. Yeah, it's it shouldn't have. There's. That's another thing that's happening is the springs are, sometimes the springs work and then they stop working. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, I was lifting the car and it seems yeah. like it's, sit, it's sitting in the dead middle right now. I real, I'll keep count of the derailment jobs. Keep, Where's keep, uh, School Kid River Valley for that? He's, a, he's our counter. Yeah, that's right, John. He, he he left. I should have told him he had a job. Job security for the maintenance away crews. That's right. So we gotta keep counting those real. So now it's taking it. Do you still hear a click over the frog? Yeah. No, it's it's popping on the. Oh, is it on the point, right? On yeah, the point. On the point. I watched it pop up and draw. Hmm. All right, so we're good there, right? Yeah, just a little bit about right there. It's pretty bad. I'm making the engineer actually get out and do do the conductor's job too. Yeah, Jack, Jack, I don't know why I'm, I'm really have. I've got microengineering switches, and I'm really having a lot of problems with them. Um, I've had to, a lot of them, the, the frogs aren't right. Um, I'm, you know, the points won't close all the way. Yeah, so. All of the d have been on the yeah. points of frogs, every single one of them. Yeah, about half of my switches, the frogs are bad on them. Yeah, get, try to push it, see if it'll push really hard again. Yeah, it, yeah. it looks like your rail is barely bent, too. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just. So I'm, I'm actually going to take a bunch. Yeah. My battery. You might have to end up redoing the whole ladders. Yeah. I don't want to. We'll be right back. So now I gotta push these three SP car ones with that orange plywood Astoria plywood.
And Robert's back. Yep, Robert's back. Because <laughs> my... Oh, your laptop got dead. Yeah. That's not good. That's why I... Uh, that's why I ran out so quickly. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, my... There it goes. There we go. Perfect. I had to make sure I had it plugged into the right circuit. My one circuit I've got cut off right now because I'm yeah. still wiring out. So. I don't blame you. Hey, Drew Dudes Model Trains, how's it going? All right, so. Going all the way back. I got the SP car ID. Oh, okay. You got it already. All right. I hope I got the right one. It was the first one. It was the. Yeah. Yeah. The last one. Yeah, the last one. <laughs> I think now I'm just it's it's here, right? The uh, first one after. Yeah, the Lake Superior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whenever you tell We're me. We're good. Okay. Oops, wrong signal. So how many cards do we need total? 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're good. Norman's, or Shea said it's a new drinking game. Every time there's a derailment, take a drink. <laughs> Man, we would be blitzed. Yeah, no kidding. At this rate. Yeah, it just feels like the rail. Yeah, I'll have to fiddle with it till I change it. Has any of your cars still got plastic wheels on them? Some of them do, yeah. And I know that makes a difference, but it shouldn't. Shouldn't. It does that. Yeah. Now, some of the wheels I'm replacing with the Katie wheels, mm -hmm. they're not, there's some hard material. They're not metal, but they're not just regular plastic either. I forget what they call them. Uh, oh, here I have some. So oh, those are metal. I'm sorry. I do have metal ones. I am replacing them with metal ones. Never mind. What? We got our train. All right. So, what do we want to do first? So, these are all going in the four tracks, right? Mm hmm So, I would say we would start with that last car and start putting it where it goes. It goes to four? Actually, I know what I forgot to do. What's that? I forgot to cut to those cars back there in the back on that ladder and pull them up off the ladder. Don't worry, we'll do that later. Okay. The yard switcher did it. 
Okay. Fair enough. Was it this the yard stretcher for Yeah. <laughs> well, this one. Oh, okay. This guy. Yeah. <clears throat> I got to put my yard limit signs up. <laughs> See you, Norman. All right, so B, British Columbia goes to track to four. four. What right. about USLX plus a 19.002? That goes to, so so Jack Jack, what's happening is uh, that goes to one. Okay. Yeah, what, what's happening is it's not really blocked because what, what the switcher is doing is just moving from local industries to the to the yard tracks. So what will happen after this point, after everything gets moved, is then you generate a manifest. You generate a manifest for the uh, for the locals, and then and that's when you block everything. So. And usually what JMRI does when you have it set to normal, it'll take, it'll try to take the car with the least number of moves on it. Even though we added some moves? Yeah. So if there's a car that's got 10 moves and another one with 20, it'll take the one with 10 moves is what it'll do. Uh, otherwise... My stub in tracks, I've told it to do um, uh, first in, first out. So my stub in tracks, what I what will normally happen is the first one I put in, that'll be the first one out. Where does the SP go? So, so I hope that explained what you were asking. <laughs> Two. So really, there's no blocking yet because we're not we're not making up a train. We're just we're just moving cars in the yard, and then and then we'll make up a train after this. I'll, I'll generate another manifest. Uh, Lake Superior and Ishpeming. Ishpeming. Ish, Ish <laughs> That goes to one also. It's like these cars have moved from, uh, so these cars were at an industry that's off of the yard, and they've either been loaded or unloaded, as the case may be, and, and now they're going to be moved to the classification track so trains can be built. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Drew, Drew, it is an it is an S curve, but I do have I do have a straight section in that S curve that's uh, that's the length of my longest car, so about thirteen inches. And then what's next? LS and I. Yeah, that was one. one. Yeah. I was just checking to see if there's like any cars that are going to be like going to the same track in a row. Mm. Yard is full. In a row, probably not. Could be.
And you can push back a little bit. I mean, I've got room down here. We know how far I can go. Right where my finger is. All right. So a half a car length. This is how yeah. There you go. Bit. Boy, since he hit that uh, cut of cars, he had to ramp up. Not jump in other words. Alright. So, LS and I, track one. Yep. What about ICG? Yeah, I've. Uh... I don't know if JMRI is classified it that way. It's I know that that's the way it's supposed to be done, is to have one or two industries on a classification track. But in JMRI, I've just told, you know, what industries get box cars, what industries get tank cars, and things like that. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's doing that yet or not. I haven't run enough to figure out if it's if it's actually classifying the the tracks by industry yet where does the uh, icg go uh four so you know maybe it is i'd, I'd like i said i'll just have to run jmri some more jack jack to see if it's uh to see if it's trying to classify it by in industry or not. Since right now what I've done is I've just put everything on the layout. So <laughs> I haven't moved that many. I've only done, I think, one or, one or two actual trains on a manifest. So I just haven't gotten that far. Um, Drew, now, if you, if you put a straight section in an S-curve, you don't usually have those slack line issues that you do that you would if you didn't have a straight section. So you just you just have to make sure that your straight section is as long as your longest car. And so I made it long enough to fit an 89 foot uh, wow. flat car. Yeah. All right, so track four. Mm -hmm. For the ICG, and what's after that? MKT twenty three eighteen. NKT twenty three eighteen goes to two. All right. Yeah. We got any room to move track four back? Uh, not much. Be tight over here. Is there anything else going to track for? You put an ICG on there now? Yeah. Um, the British Columbia was the only other one. Uh, nope, nothing else going to four. Okay, I'm gonna back up just a hair. It's supposed to. It's supposed to know the length of everything, and not assign it to any. I just don't have enough clearance. Oh, you still got that bulkhead flat car? Is that far from the the coal hopper? That should be good now. Yeah, you're still good because you got the cars aren't coupled together over here. What I've got, Jack Jack, is a problem because I've got really too many cars on my layout. So, <laughs> no. Yeah. You can't have too many. Yeah. So I might, I may thinking about, I might think about doing an interchange thing so I don't, I can take cars off and on. I've got an interchange track, and I might use that to take cars off and on the layout. Interchange it with a cotton belt. I am actually. It is a cotton belt interchange. Oh, cool. All right, you said MKT is going where? Which number is it? Uh, the four-digit one, 23-something. 
the 2318 yes. is going to track two. And what's in front of it? The other NKT. It's going to two as well. Ah, we got two going to two. What about the B and M? Two. All right, our box. Uh, well, which B and M? Uh, one off five. Oh, that's going to one. Sorry. Okay. I yeah. Supposed supposedly there's a there's too many. But the yard's too full, and I probably, if I, you know, it might be that if I distribute stuff around the layout some more, I would have, uh, I'd have more room in my yard. Do I got any room to back up anymore? Uh, just a couple feet. Keep going. Dropping both MKTs, right? Uh, MKT, yep. That's about it. You good? Yeah. I'm getting, I'm almost there. I'd say about right there. Okay. We get on side? Yep. I might have to shorten that uh, the length of that track a little bit. Maybe I over measured it. Actually, this caboose belongs here. So. Well, if that's the case, I got plenty of room. Yeah. Nope. That, the caboose was from three. Oh. Yeah, I might have to shorten that track. That's uh, yeah. that shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I might be able to make it around it. You said track one on the BM. Yep, one hundred and five. And the other one's supposed to go to two, right? Did you already put it on there? there ain't no way it's going on two. Do I have to put it on three? But there's a couple. The, the rail box is going to three. You got you got a couple, at least a couple cars that can go on three. Yeah. One's about full too. Yeah. Oh shoot! I'm not even. Oh, <laughs> he's on the wrong track. Yeah. Yeah, Drew. It is well utilized. Too well utilized. Yeah. <laughs> no lie. Uh... I was about ready to make up a virtual track. I think that's the last thing that goes to Warren, though. No. Right. And that is 105, right? Yeah. Yes. Because the other one goes to two. Is it already on two? No, we were going to move it's it to here. three. Yeah, we were going to put it on three. All right, so our box. Real box is going to three. All right. Great and and the American colloid is going to three. Great Northern. Great Northern's going to. Um, it's going to. It's going on the scale track. So. American colloid is going to the scale. No. The Great Northern is going to scale track. Okay. Which is where the scale is. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. 
James Galton says I don't have enough cars. There's not enough cars. So I'm All right, so Arbox, American Colloids, and the three. Right. And then where did I say the Great Northern was going? The scale track? Scale. And then the BM's going? Three, or one or three. Is that 105? Uh, 117. Ooh, that was close. 117 goes to... No, it'll have to go to three also. What about the Milwaukee Road? Um, that's supposed to go to one, but that doesn't have enough room on one, does it? Put it on the scale track, too. So. All right, that's it. It's like barely a gap. I don't know why it's doing that. It should. It's not supposed to. Unless you're supposed to take some cars off. Well, there is going to be some moves. There are supposed to be some moves from those tracks to other places. Yes. So maybe, and that's what it's thinking. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, so what, we just have two, three left? It's just like barely missing it. Yeah. So those three we're just going to put where? Well, I can put one, at least one more on track three. Okay. Put one on three and take the other two to the scale track and then we'll... <laughs> Drew Dude said... Clearly, the solution to add more yard tracks. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I do have a building stretcher. So I'm just going to put it in between the walls and push the walls out. And <laughs> we're, just, we're just going to add more yard tracks. Yeah. Man, that would be tough. I told my wife I needed a 16-foot wide building. She didn't believe me. And you can use 4311 to pull those cars back up where they were. Where you want me to park, park this one back? Yeah, just park it back on the south, uh, northbound arrival. I'm 
Let's see. <laughs> that was close. We just got a great engineer. That's all it is. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, James, there's always room for more tracks if I just take the aisles out. You gotta have an aisle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I had, uh, I better do this because I had actually forgot I had consist. Oh, we or did we clear all the consist out? I didn't clear them all out. I left the one. It's like a four-digit number. Yeah. So, All right, which look on my 4311. It's a consist. Should be. Sure it really? Hmm. Try consist it. Consist is 4153 and 4160. Okay, so we must have cleared it out. Just do uh, 4365 then. 4365. Mm -hmm. Not moving. It's still consistent then. Is that the switch, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. We're good. I think we better sign off. Yeah. We might we might be divorced after <laughs> after tonight. <laughs> no, what's gonna happen is I bet you my wife will end up taking care of my back to the campground and then that's it. Yeah. Well, guys, oh, help me. Amanda says you might be. <laughs> uh, so we've enjoyed it. We better we better shut it down here. And uh, that was fun. Yeah. So you guys take it easy and thanks for joining us. We still have twelve people. So <laughs> what? Yeah. So, I'm surprised we got that many people. Well, buttons for punishment, right? <laughs> 12 people that wants to follow me, hey, more power to them. All right. Well, everybody take it easy. Glad to have Jason here starring on the Flying Crow channel or guest starring. I don't yeah, know. guest starring. Guest yeah. starring. Because you're the star. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all take it easy and have a good evening. We'll see you. Take care, everyone. See you, Roy. He's still lurking. But <laughs> Jay, take it easy. Peace out.